Prince Edward Island is among the first provinces in Canada to introduce a drug information system, or DIS, to keep track of patients' prescription drug records. It represents a first step for Canada toward the national implementation of electronic health records technology. We spoke to the people who will use and rely on the DIS to do their jobs, doctors and pharmacists. We asked these professionals how they get patient drug information currently and how that will change once DIS goes live. Generally, when a patient is coming in to me, uh, I like to get a, a good uh, history of the medications that they're using. As a physician, I have to rely a lot of the time on what the patient uh, has to tell me, what record they may bring in. Some of them may bring in a, a little booklet. Some of them bring them written down on a sheet of paper. Uh, sometimes I have to call a pharmacy and find out what medications they are taking, what doses. For patients with uh, medical conditions such as Alzheimer's disease or even just older patients, this has become an increasing uh, problem because these people are unable to give us a complete history themselves. In that situation, we have to rely on the alternative forms of medication history collecting, such as from the charts, from the hospital, perhaps from relatives or from the retail pharmacies. As a pharmacist at the moment, without an electronic system to access, we often have to piece together information from multiple sources. Our interviews also revealed stories of what happens when drug histories are communicated incorrectly between doctors and pharmacists. One problem I encountered recently, I had an agent come into the store for an elderly lady who required a prescription to be filled. When I asked the agent regarding drug allergies, she knew there had been a reaction in the past but could not recall the medication. Um, she went to the car to speak with the elderly lady who, again, knew she had a severe reaction but was unsure of the medication. At that point, I called the outpatient department at the local hospital, spoke to them, and of course they had recorded no known drug allergy because she wasn't aware of which um, medication she had reacted to. That hospital then called a smaller hospital in her community who had it recorded that she had a reaction to an unknown substance. The outpatient physician and myself decided to dispense the medication as written, and we also sold her some Benadryl in case there was a reaction. If the DIS had been implemented, it would have been as simple as looking at the profile and seeing the allergy that had been documented either by her regular pharmacy or her regular physician. Under our system now, with the system of walking clinics, if you go in to see a doctor uh, the, and you don't have your uh, list of uh, drugs uh, that you're taking, no, nobody uh, makes any effort to uh, find out what, what you are taking. So there's clearly a wide chasm between what information medical professionals need and what they're currently receiving in their efforts to look after patients effectively. We asked around to find out what DIS will actually mean to PEI. We think that in the emergency room in trauma situations, the electronic drug information system may save lives. The reason for this is sometimes these trauma patients come in and they're not able to give their own medication history in a complete form or at all. In that situation, time is of the essence, and we need uh, that information as accurately and as completely as we can get it. I think it, it is good in that you only have one spot that you would have to go to rather than maybe calling three or four different pharmacies. Our main goal is to help patients, so help them make better decisions, help them be more healthy, help them have the information they need to make good choices. Another important concern to many of those interviewed was the question of the privacy and security of the DIS. I'm fairly confident that uh, whatever measures uh, to keep the information secure uh, have been taken, or at least I attempt to be, to be taken. Privacy and security of the health record is the number one concern for patients, and the dr new drug information system on PEI addresses that. Uh, in that it can give good reassurances to patients and physicians alike that the information contained within the record is private and access to it is limited to those who really need it. Another important issue for many is the matter of drug addiction and the illicit trafficking in painkillers and other prescription narcotics. Certainly prescription drug misuse is a major problem. Uh, ask any police officer on the street uh, how often uh, they end up dealing with people who have uh, substance abuse problems that are directly related to misuse of prescription drugs. The, the prescription drugs that are being abused, not only in Charlottetown, in, in 
throughout the region and in fact probably right across the country is, is things like Oxycontin, uh, Percocet, uh, things of that nature. The drug information system also gives us uh, complete enough medication records and patient histories that we can keep abreast of those who may want to illegally uh, have access to prescription medications either for resale or for personal use or for distribution on the street. This is an issue that affects us all in every community in Canada. In all, the overwhelming majority of people interviewed, doctors, pharmacists and people in the street, seem to feel the same way about DIS and its subsequent integration into a national electronic health record system. It shouldn't be the way it is, but and people's uh, lives are in uh, very much uh, danger at certain times, uh, you know, uh, hopefully uh, they will react to a positive way in uh, the new idea that uh, is coming about that uh, somebody is trying to promote. Pharmacists and other healthcare professionals have the goal in mind of making sure that patients have safety in their medication, in their health care, um, just in general making sure that they have a good quality of life. The drug information system on PEI is a sister project or a parallel project to the electronic health record system or clinical information system which is currently being built and set to go live later this year. These two projects are part of a grander scheme or a long-term strategy to integrate all of the health information system into one integrated health record which is not only available for use across the province, but also is interoperable with other provinces' health information systems. PEI's Drug Information System is our first step toward what will become a Canada-wide system of electronic health record keeping. It is the very future of medicine. It will save taxpayers money. It will reduce human error. And most importantly, it will save lives.